All right, today we're gonna 3D print and cast an aluminum chuck. Let's get started. First thing we gotta do to make this chuck a reality is we have to design the part first in 3D space so that our 3D printer knows how to print it and then from there we can get the physical part in the physical world. First thing we gotta do is jump over to some design software or 3D CAD program and design this part out. All right, so the part is now finished. So we have our lid, we've got our bevel gear inside there, and then that spiral type thing is the scroll gear, which moves the jaws in and out. Um, I hope everything works. It uh, all looks like it's gonna work. Now that we basically have the instructions for the 3D printer to print this part, we'll now give it to the 3D printer and the printer will print it away. All right, I think all the pieces are complete. Now, we have to clean them up. Okay, so as I started cleaning all the pieces, I decided to start to kind of put them together as I, as I go. And then I ran into a couple problems. The first being that these two gears don't match up very well. Not only is this print job not very good on, these gear, on this gear here, um, but they just, they don't match up. So that's a problem. And the second thing that I noticed, the teeth on this, on the bevel gear is very small. In fact, so small that I don't think it's really castable. Um, I think that I could do it, uh, but imagine trying to cast all that and make sure all those are good. Yeah, just that alone, I need to redesign this part. But all the problems don't stop there. They even get worse. I learned that my chuck jaws, the teeth aren't cut right. And uh, basically, when I put this piece together and I started to spin it with the jaw on there, it basically ripped my spiral off. So the scroll thread doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. It ripped it right off. Not to mention this wall isn't quite thick enough. Issues, issues, issues. So what I'm gonna do is fix the spiral gear, fix the bevel gear, make the wall thicker on this piece. So I'm gonna redesign it, re-3D print it, clean it and put it together. Mm -hmm. 
Now that was fast. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole thing together. I'm just gonna fast forward the cleaning up. These things break. <laughs> Luckily I have a replacement. Whoops. As you see, I did run out of um, red filament, so I went with a new filament. Now I'm just gonna put this thing together. It's really simple. First thing it goes in is this spiral slash bevel gear first. Spiral facing down, goes into our main casing like that. Then second is all of these pieces, which we'll just throw in here. One there, one there, one there, and then our main piece here, which will just slip on like that. And I'm just gonna get a quick Allen wrench so we can use for this next part. So I'm gonna rotate this piece, which actually rotates that spiral in there to this slot here. So this one goes in like that, okay it does. Okay, stop it there. This one here goes in next. And then this one here. And then the last jaw goes in like this. And then a full rotation will bring all of those to center. And that is the full chuck, just like that. How gorgeous is that? I love how it spins too. It's just so cool to me. Just like that. Oh, is that not gorgeous or what? Oh, what a project this has been to complete this. What a project this has been. Next week's video, we're gonna put these inside of molds and cast them out of aluminum. That is going to be really fun. We're gonna take aluminum cans and make them into this chuck. It's going to be a blast. So stay tuned for next week's video. Subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you're notified when my next video comes out because you are gonna want to see this. You do not wanna miss it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week when we cast this thing to aluminum. Bye. That was a terrible idea. Gosh, what in the world ever shut up? Ugh.